different video today. As you can see, I have hair dye, bleachy stuff all over my head. Nick also has it on his head. Basically, we're having a sort out of the van yesterday and we forgot that we had this, like we bought this box of bleach stuff with us. So we thought, you know what? Instead of carrying it round, let's get it on the old barnets, give ourselves a bit of a highlight <laughs> and see how it looks. So we're gonna wash this off now because it's starting to burn my scalp. So this is how my hair turned out. Not quite what I was going for, a few little streaks I was hoping to get from the leftovers from Sarah. Um, I think I'm going to have to get Sarah to shave my sides and I trim a little bit off top. I think it knocks years off him. I think it needs a bit of styling, a bit of styling and it'll be alright. A bit frizzy and fluffy at the moment. And here's the blonde bombshell, formerly known as Sarah. Bit of a highlight, bit of a lift. Oh, to be man, honest, my hair. Well. Well, my hair was just like so overdue a good wash, so it's now had a proper wash. Put this dye on it, and then I've like used champagne. 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 Oh, look so at that like I wish. <laughs> so I use uh. shampoo, conditioner. Um, we've actually cleared all of the water out from the tank doing this because it takes ages to wash hair dye out. So we actually had to go to this where we're staying, there's a toilet. The basin in the toilet, it's quite a long tap so I could actually get my whole head under the tap and let the warm water run through. That was nice as well, warm water, hot water with your head under there. Because obviously I don't wash my dreads as much as you would wash normal hair because you just don't have a live in a van. So it was really nice, so I feel really refreshed now. So yeah, we've basically spent most of the day at this little sort of park up campsite thing. Not really a campsite, but it's a park up where you give a bit of money and you get electric. Take this opportunity to get caught up and charge up everything. Um, caught up I mean with the Van Life Europe series. Hope you guys are enjoying it. It's been nice to just have power is so nice when all your electrics work and you can have the lights on and everything on it's just it's just fantastic and it's also been nice to just chill out we've been able to cook outside and have all of our things out there whereas obviously when you're wild camping you can't be doing too much camping activity in a lot of places unless you're really wild we've had the fridge on which we don't usually do so nick actually had a nice cold beer last night rather than just a supermarket shop bought warm beer and yeah the dogs are just really relaxed too because we can just leave the door open there's some nice grass outside they can just go and lay in the grass they can please themselves chill out in here or chill out out there it's safe for them this is the first time we've actually stayed anywhere for a couple of days with power and just chilled out so it's really good to kind of just recharge the batteries for us as well as recharge all of Vinny's batteries and everything else How's it going, love? It's going. It's going. As always, too much footage and not enough time. Love, time for a break. Wow, look at this. Never mind, look at that. I'm not talking about this meal. Look at that. Look at the state of this, I need a trim. It looks like it's going to rain, so I've been summoned outside. Yes, you have. By my husband, <laughs> who wants a haircut. He wants to get rid of the grey at the sides too. So, hey! So, so he wants me to just like clip his sides, shave it. I actually like the ginger on Nick though. They're like a bit of a cartoon character, I think. Anyway, time for a cut. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little trim, a bit of wax. Sweet here. Yeah. 
I'd just quickly show you whereabouts we are, the situation, the parking where we are. And basically, there's loads of motorhomes as you can see behind me, but they're all empty. So this is like a parking for people that store their motorhomes and caravans here. So there's literally, out of all these motorhomes you can see behind me, there's us, and I think one down the very opposite end here, what's actually got people staying and then there's a few around the front that you can't see from here so it's so it's totally fine like it's really cheap we've got an electric hookup but like, like we said there's water there's a little toilet as well so you can use the loo here and some hot water taps and yeah and this is us just right on the end so we've got our own little kind of private area sort of like garden and yeah so we're right at the end so it's just really quiet and peaceful, it's just perfect for us and the dog can just play and... not disturb anyone so yeah we're pretty chuffed with this it's a bit rough and ready but for what we need for electricity and to chill out for a couple of days it is spot on really Here we go. Aww. Oh, oh don't worry, doing? Charlie, don't worry. What is it? Don't worry, it's okay. We'll protect you. Before this horrendous storm started happening, before it started really peeing it down with rain, we plan to have a movie night. We've worked hard today getting um, editing the videos and pretty much all day actually. So we really wanted to just kind of chill out, watch a movie, make some popcorn. But the thing is now it's raining so hard outside that I can't actually open the window in the van to put the gas on. I don't like cooking with all the windows closed. So we're kind of waiting for the rain to subside and make ourselves some popcorn. The sound of the rain is so bad on a, I don't know, I, I, I presume it would be the same on a metal roof, but fiberglass roofs, like our van is fiberglass. When it rains, it's so loud. We did go in. Oh! Okay, that made me jump slightly. All right, so just before we left our home village, the massive storm, the biggest storm I've ever seen. But that wasn't a, that wasn't a thunderstorm, was no, it? No, that, that well, was just a electrical was loads storm. of lightning electrical, yeah. So just loads and loads of only loads of visual. Forks and stuff. Which is quite cool when you see that. But the cracks, the huge cracks of thunder, when they're it's so quite loud. Scary when it's that loud. Anyway, we'll update you if you don't hear from us again. The storm has stopped, the rain has given way, so we've been able to open the window, get the oil nice and hot, and we're making popcorn, and we are determined to watch a movie tonight, even though it's getting a bit late now. It's happening, it's all happening in this pan. cleared away and my cooker nice and clean again by the way if any of you guys are thinking about getting one of these this one is actually really good because it's got this grill so like in the morning when you're doing your coffee and your toast you can do them both at the same time by putting the kettle in the middle and the grill thing underneath so it's a really good feature to have a little grill and it's cheap they're about 35 pounds so I'll put a little link in the description if any of you want to take a look really good one 
Anyway, back to the movie night. Got. I'll keep his eyes off it. So Charlie absolutely loves popcorn, but you know what? He's such a polite, sweet little dog that will never take anything not given to him. So watch, for example. Let's see. Go on. Oh, you're so good, aren't you? Oh, you're such you? a good boy, you're such Charlie, a good aren't you? Boy. See, he won't, go, he won't go there because it's not been given to him. Even though he knows it's a big box of popcorn. Lizzie would just dive in. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Head feet first. first. <laughs> Lizzie would be in that bowl. So, yes, that is a 40-inch projector behind us. In our tiny little van. <laughs> we have got a proper home entertainment system. I like to watch a movie and it's nice to chill out after a long day editing. So, anyway, we're going to get back into our movie now. So, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.